Alright guys. Well, it is a little bit of a gray, gloomy day here in the end times in the Point Lonesome Swamp, but it is still a gorgeous day, I guess. Looking out over these wetlands, these beautiful wetlands, and uh, we actually uh, have not been molested by the airboats yet on uh, this lovely Sunday morning, February, February, listen to me, getting ahead of myself. December 19, 2021, as the fall of 2021 comes to an end. And uh, so anyway, guys, I, 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 I don't know where to start. I, I know that I promised, I think two months ago today, that I was done with Dulcinea. That... <laughs> that I had buried uh, this figment of my imagination uh, away forever, uh, that, you know, I, I, I kicked her off both of my channels, I banned her from emailing me, from calling me, from texting me, and, and I've been a good boy for two months, a good boy for two months, but goddamn Sandy Shellis, for the second time in her life, <clears throat> had to announce to me that uh, Dulcinea was back on YouTube. You know, she yanked down both of her channels a few weeks ago, and so uh, to my to my delight. Uh, she yanked down her channels and went on about wherever she was going. And now she's back. She is back with a vengeance. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and goddamn Sandy had to uh, warn me that, uh, that Dulcinea was back. And obviously I could not resist going on her YouTube channel uh, which shall remain nameless, and I would really appreciate anyone listening to this not to put the name of her channel uh, on my channel. Or if you do, I'll just rip your comment down. Uh, so anyway, obviously, guys, uh, I, I could not resist seeing what is up with Dulcinea, like a uh, you know, like like a moth, back to the flame. Uh, I head over there to her channel, where what I stumbled upon last night, guys. It was it it it, it was a new descent into the twilight zone. I you know I, I'm watching this in open mouthed shock and horror, just, just, just saying, please, dear God, tell me that this woman is being ironic and that this is not coming from her heart. So there were a bunch of videos and she's already taken a lot of them down. But right now, the, uh, the one I'm uh, referring to, I think the title of it is Beautiful Pittsburgh, although she will probably rip it down uh, soon after this rant comes out. So what a lot of the videos were, and as I say, she's, she's ripped most of them down. What she was doing yesterday is she was at some fucking shopping mall. She took her, her video camera to, to a shopping mall and, and acted like she was uh, giving us a tour of the fucking Sistine Chapel. And the, the very first word uh, out, out of her mouth from the tour of this mall is beautiful. This is the opening quote to the tour of the Pittsburgh Mall. Beautiful. I used to say, no, I, they, was it I used, no, no, it, it was, the, the quote was, beautiful. I always say bad things about this mall because there used to be 
wetlands here. But there are still wetlands here, so it's okay. No, Maggie, it's not fucking okay. It's not fucking okay that there's a fucking shopping mall uh, in a wetland. Jesus fucking Christ, girl. Uh, I, 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 I'm really, really trying to give you uh, the benefit of the fucking doubt that, that you're saying it is okay. It, it is okay for these motherfucking planet eaters to go in there and drain another wetland off the face of this fucking planet so they can build an, another fucking shopping mall. You know, I, I, I understand, Maggie, that, that you're under some mental strain and, and that you're trying to hold your fucking life together. But come on, girl. There's nothing okay about turning this into a fucking shopping mall. There's nothing beautiful about it. It's one of the fucking ugliest things on this planet. Turning wetlands into shopping malls is the reason this planet is so fucked. Can you say sixth mass extinction, Maggie? Can you say those words? Can you say we're so fucked because the, 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 this goddamn uh, country and this planet values shopping malls above wetlands? And, and, and to think that, that, that a woman of your class, your caliber, sitting there uh, walking around a fucking shopping mall like you're in the fucking Sistine Chapel. And uh, as, I, as, as I say, guys, uh, th 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 these were a lot of little video snippets like she likes to do, and, and most of them are gone by now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to remember, li like thinking back on a bad dream. So one of the things she was doing, she was, I, I guess she was at some fucking t-shirt shop some corporate fucking t-shirt shop uh, where, where they were putting qu quotes from poets on, on the front of their fucking t-shirts. I think she was quoting maybe Browning and Emerson. I think, I think she chose two of her favorite fucking t-shirt quotes, you know, quoting Browning and Emerson. I can't remember what the fucking quotes were. You know, and, 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 and standing alone by themselves, there was nothing wrong with the quotes. If, if she'd been in some fucking antique bookstore, you know, some, some, some little uh, mom and pop antique bookstore w w with some book of poetry by Browning and Emerson, <coughs> uh, you know, reading quotes from there, it would have been one thing. She was in a fucking shopping mall built on a destroyed wetlands reading a, 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 a fucking quote uh, off the front of a fucking t-shirt that, that probably cost 30 fucking dollars and, and you can guarantee that, that Browning and, and, and uh, whoever it was, maybe it was Keats, I don't know. But whoever the fuck it was, you better believe they were, you know, d d just rolling around in agony in, in their fucking graves. Could you imagine uh, what the goddamn poets w w would have to say uh, about this fucking shopping mall? You know, so these goddamn little frat boys, uh, can, you know, can throw down probably 40 bucks on a fucking t-shirt uh, with some goddamn quote from some poet they've never fucking heard of so they can, they, they can make some clueless fucking flibberty gibbet think that there's some sort of fucking, I, I don't know, urbane, 
uh, well-read, uh, you know, just ultra-sophisticated, whatever, so they can get some fucking pussy. Make no mistake about it, Maggie, what, what, what those fucking uh, t-shirts are for. To help some pathetic little fuck get some pussy. You know, there, there's, there's such a thing as context. What uh, Terrence McKenna would call set and setting. You know, trying, tr try, <laughs> trying to put the words of the great poets in a fucking corporate t-shirt shop. Oh, fuck. And then they say, what, what was another one? She was, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck she was filming. Uh, you know, she was absolutely stoned out of for what's left of her fucking mind. Uh, completely fucking wasted on, uh, on, on, I'm assuming it was just marijuana. Because it obviously wasn't fucking mushrooms. Uh, she would be uh, running the opposite direction from that fucking shopping mall if it had been mushrooms. So it, 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 she was on some weed, and and and, uh, and and she's talking about some some fucking snowflake that she's that that she's filming, wh wh which was some sort of goddamn you know some of these little planet eating Chinese Christmas lights and and, and you know hung from the from the ceiling, uh, you know look like a fucking snowflake. But but what you see in, in the video, although she's ripped it down, is you what you're looking at is a corporate logo for AT&T is what's in the video. You know, the, the, you see what I'm saying? The, like the reflection uh, of an AT&T corporate logo <coughs> over, uh, over this fucking snowflake. Uh, and, you know, I left a comment, which of course is gone, is, is Maggie. Uh, it, it's, it's not a, a fucking snowflake. It's a fucking corporate logo. So anyway, so let's see. Uh, we have the opening video uh, of the beautiful artwork of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel Mall in fucking Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, we have a stop by the t-shirt shop uh, to check in w w with some quotes from the great poets. We stop at a fucking snowflake or a re reflecting back an AT&T corporate logo. And then she goes, I don't know what the fuck this thing was. And, uh, it, it, it was some uh, modern art sculpture. Uh, which looked to me suspiciously like it was made out of tropical hardwoods. Uh, I, I mean, you could hear the screams of the baby orangutans. You, you, you know, uh, that went in to, to this fucking uh, monstrosity, this fucking monument to tropical deforestation. And, and she's sitting there filming this, filming the, the, this fucking monument to destruction. And, and she's actually, she's, I, I'm, I can't make this shit up, guys, although she ripped down the video, so you'll probably accuse me of lying. She actually compared this thing <coughs> to the goddamn Great Pyramids of Giza. Not that I'm a big fan uh, of, the, of the Great Pyramids, but you know what I'm saying. She was actually suggesting that, uh, th that this corporate whore piece of, uh, of, uh, of public art with baby orangutan blood dripping off of it uh, was comparable to, to, the, the, to the fucking uh, Great Pyramids of Giza. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm watching this shit j j just flat out <clears throat> with my jaw dropping that I, 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 I you know, <clears throat> if she were being ironic, Maggie, if you were, were in fact being ironic, and, and, and I'm still, I am still so 
uh, so fucking desperate and hopeless. Uh, I am still holding out some fucking uh, hopium that you were being ironic in, in, in this tour, uh, 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 this fucking beautiful shopping mall. I, I, you know, Cervantes could not have penned the line, beautiful. I always say bad things about this mall because there used to be wetlands here. But there are still wetlands here, so it's okay. I, I, you know, uh, <laughs> that 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 is pure comic genius. That 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 is one of the most unintentionally uh, hilarious comedic lines you have ever spouted. See, uh, you know, Maggie's always talking about how her channels are, are, are comedy. Uh, that, that was the most, uh, you know, on the darkest, sick, sickest, most twisted level, that was the darkest comic line you have ever written in your life, darling. If you can only understand uh, how, uh, how fucking, uh, twisted, uh, that, that, that line was. Uh, I mean, all I could do was laugh. And then she sends out a, a you know, a, a video to me personally talking about, uh, how I can make her laugh uh, until she cries, and my comment back to her was, well, you make me cry until I laugh, so I guess we even each other out, darling. I you know, watching this shit, I, 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 I just wanted to fucking, I, I, <laughs> I, I wanted to reach through. I didn't know whether I wanted to reach through the goddamn ether and just slap her or, or, or whether I wanted to fucking reach through there, grab her by her feet. Well, not reach. They just drive up to fucking Pittsburgh. Uh, drive up to fucking Pittsburgh. Throw a fucking burlap bag over this crazy woman. Drag her back down here to the Point Lonesome Swamp and, and mainline uh, about a quart of fucking ayahuasca uh, through her veins to, to get the fucking concrete uh, off her goddamn calcified pineal gland and, and yank her goddamn head out of her beautiful ass. You, you know? Maggie, have you ever heard a fucking sandhill crane? Ah, oh, Jesus. You know, so I, uh, I, 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 I can't stand it anymore. Uh, so I, so I shut down the, the fucking computer, and I, and I'm walking around here, and it is this absolutely glorious full moon, moonlit night here. You, you know, you see this. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you. Uh, all of this is is just painted silver in uh, in the moonlight and uh, the the way the uh, the moonlight uh, filters down through the oak trees and and illuminates the uh, Spanish moss uh, swaying in the breeze and the in these uh, geometric patterns that uh, the full moonlight uh, puts all over the ground here. It, it is absolutely magical. It, it is, uh, you know, this place, the Point Lonesome Swamp in, in, in the full moonlight it is just, you don't even need mushrooms. It, it, it is so beautiful, and, and, and I'm walking around. I climbed up here, sitting right here, just, just, just hyperventilating, looking out over uh, this moonlight, and uh, just, just thinking, God damn it, girl, you could be here with me. You know, we, we, could, be, we could be up here uh, making love under the fucking full moon. Uh, gazing out over this wetland. 
and 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 and, and you have chosen uh, a, a fucking shopping mall uh, uh, over this. Fucking shopping mall. Uh, good God. You could have been in my arms last night, girl. We, 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 we could have been king and queen of the fucking world up here. But no. You're hanging out at a fucking beautiful shopping mall. And, I, and, and I'm not picking on Maggie here, guy. I'm really not. I am. I, I am. I am heartbroken. Uh, what has happened to that beautiful, talented uh, woman? Absolutely, it, fucking gutted. Uh, and 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 how I could be so wrong about somebody. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. All right. I got that off my chest. So I'll go do my doomsday sermon. I'm sure I can find a, uh, a uh, goddamn sermon uh, about draining wetlands. You know, Manga Bay just had an article on, on Friday. Uh, 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 about how the you know the wetlands uh, are even more fucking imperiled uh, than our forest. Wetlands are the most fucked ecosystem. Well, I guess coral reefs are are number one, and, and wetlands. What is it? Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-seven percent. Uh, uh, of the wetlands on this planet is what I think I remember reading. Uh, completely obliterated uh, off the face of the planet. Uh, by fucking humans building their fucking beautiful shopping malls so they can sell goddamn t-shirts. You wonder why we're so fucked. You wonder why culture is not your friend. So. But end on a hope. Th these wetlands out here in front of you, the way I understand it, these are actually artificial wetlands. These wetlands were actually built by humans. There used not to be a wetland here. Uh, <laughs> is the ultimate irony uh, of all this is that this is an artificially created wetland by humans. You know, the, the levels, the levels of irony, but uh, I'm going to climb down from my lonely tower. Climb down from my lonely tower. <sighs> you know where to find me, darling. You have my physical address. I've emailed it and texted it to you anytime. You want to leave that fucking beautiful shopping mall and come down here. I am still crazy enough to take you on, darling. Bye, guys.